Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel, hope you're having an awesome day and today we're going to do an unboxing, I love doing unboxing videos, I don't know why, it's just really satisfying, I love the mystery factor, I also really love mystery boxes, so let me know if you guys like those things as well, like not just videos, but like doing it, you know, so I have three BoxyCharm boxes for the month of March here to unbox for you, they came really quickly this month, I have the base box, the premium box, sorry, and we have the Lux box as well, which is the big fancy one. So I'm going to do these in order from smallest to biggest today. I am gifted a box from BoxyCharm in exchange for unboxing, but I also do pay for my own subscription because I am, again, a lover of subscription boxes and mystery boxes and all that. Also, a box I pay for every month that I never unbox on camera is the Munch Pack. If you guys would be interested in Munch Pack videos, since I already do pay for that subscription, I just don't record it and I never thought about doing it. Let me know if you'd be interested in that also down below. But let's get started with the base box now. We're going to work our way up. I'm excited. This one is actually pretty heavy this month. Also, you guys, I do have a small business, theopencrypt.com, if you're interested. I have a whole bunch of things, spooky things, but not always just spooky things. I've been working on expanding my packaging to more, like, really pretty female, pa um, like, based packaging for like kind of a feminist vibe and then also like kitty cats and stuff so not just spooky things but you know if you like spooky things there's a ton of that too anyways base box now like i said this has a little bit of weight to it this month's theme is game changer and of course i will let you know the retail price of these things as we go so here's the inside of our box we have had this before or maybe it's a different set but let's start off with this first thing and then here's what's underneath we have a luxie brush set we've gotten luxie brushes several times in the past but it's not bad because luxie brushes are good quality especially for the price tag so this luxie brush set is the florals brush set it retails for 40 dollars comes in the purple pouch purple is like a signature luxie color so i've had this exact set before so we have a little mini sponge and then we have four eye brushes so I don't know if it was in a different description box. It could have been BoxyCharm. It could have been Ipsy. But I've had this exact set before in a box. Just don't know what box it was. So here we have these eye brushes and the little pouch. So kind of a, you know, this has been a subscription box before. And if it was not in a BoxyCharm, it's not BoxyCharm's fart. Fart. <laughs> it's not BoxyCharm's fault that this has been in here before. But I wish Luxie would be aware of things they're repeating in boxes. Because some of us get a lot of subscription boxes. We're going to see it over and over again. It gets a little bit dated. But... Here's the first thing in here. Next up here, let's go with this big blue box. I've seen one thing from this brand before previously, but I don't remember what it was. So this is the Gen Skin Generation Skin Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches. So here is the box. The packaging on is pretty fun. It's kind of sleek and nice. It's just eye patches, so I'm not going to open it up because I don't want this to be a super long, stretched out video. But this is $49. I guess I will open it up for you. I'll just speed through it quickly. So in here you get a little thing and it just has the eye patches. In here you can scoop them out with the spatula and it keeps them all nice and wet. So you, when your eyes, they have actually like the serum on them and stuff. It's not just like the individual pouches where you gotta rip each one open every time. That gets a little bit annoying. So I am happier to see it in like a big bundle of them. Next up in here is something from Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's makeup line. This is the Always an Optimistic Base Illumit Illumitrice. Always an Optimus Illuminating Primer. I was reading the side that's not in English. <laughs> but let's see what color this is. So this retails for $26. Oh, it's like a little fair illuminator. Let's try this one out and go ahead and pump it on my hand. Just want a little bit. Okay, so it's just kind of like a, kind of a pearl tone to it. Kind of like a champagne -y pearl tone. It feels very slick, a little bit on the oily side. But here's what the Illuminizer Primer looks like on my hand. It is a primer, right? Yeah, illuminating primer. It is illuminating. So this looks nice. It's kind of on the pink. If you can see it like in the center of my wrist, it looks a little pink. Or center of my hand, I guess. It looks a little pink, but for $26, it's cute. Just kind of a small component, like kind of small, but cute. I'm not disappointed in this one. It's a primer. It's a makeup -y item, not a skincare item. Next up, this is something from Lauren Conrad. I forgot this was a beauty line quite frankly. Wasn't she in like, she was in like one of those, like the Hills or like Gossip Girl, one of those shows that was really big in the 2000s and then just like, I feel like people don't talk about anymore. But I, I forgot this was a beauty line. No shade to her, I just forgot. So this is the Lauren I Conrad The Eyeliner in Onyx. This retails for $20 for the eyeliner. And it's just a liquid eyeliner. I feel like we've all seen a million liquid eyeliners. 
I don't know what makes it the eyeliner. Maybe it's just that good, but it retails for $20. And then lastly, we have one last thing in here. This is from Frank Body. This is the bright and juicy skin, soft and supple feeling, even in clear complexion, but it doesn't tell me what it is. So it's a vitamin C brightening mask. We've had a lot of vitamin C products lately, which kind of scare me because one time I had a bad reaction to vitamin C and that's all I think about every time I see vitamin C now. But this is the vitamin C brightening mask from Frank Body. This retails for $19.95 and it's just a big pump. I thought this was kind of be like a, a deodorant balm, but it's a pump in here. I think the packaging is really thick. It reminds me of like a big deodorant. But this is the last thing in here. And it seems like a lot of skincare this month, but we did get two makeup-y products. So let's talk about everything we got in the base box. We have this Brightening C face mask. We have a pair of a set of Luxie brushes, not a pair. We have a Rare Beauty Primer. This is probably my favorite thing in the, in the base box this month, quite frankly. We also have some Gen C eye masks, or Generation Skin. I, I said Gen Z because I watch a lot of TikToks and they're always talking about the Gen Z. <laughs> and then we have a Lauren Conrad eyeliner. So these are the items. I like to pick them up so you can see how much we got. This is the items in the base box. Really not bad. I wish it was a little more makeup-y, you know, like one more makeup item and one less skincare item. but. I'm not bad. I'm not mad. I feel like these two things, kind of seen these two before. These three, pretty happy with. So let's move on to the premium box now. I almost said plus. I said premium. <laughs> Moving on to the premium box now, we have blue inside like normal. And I will let you know the retail prices of these items. Moving this paper out of the way, this is what the inside of the box is looking like. Looks like a bunch of small boxes, but when I open this and I move that paper, it is fragrantly floral you kind of boho-y kind of smelling it has like a a natural fragrance to it so something in here is hella fragrance is making my whole room smell like this already so you know we'll see if I well guess we'll find out what it is but first thing in here is something from Grace and Stella this is everything is better in pink eye mask I just remember seeing a Grace and Stella the little baby hydrating mist but I feel like I haven't seen like a full-size thing from them so this is the Grace and Stella Collagen Eye Mask that retail for $24. Oh, so in here we have just a whole bunch of these eye mask sheets. We just got eye masks in the base box. Most people don't get both boxes. You can get both boxes. But we have these. This is what I said that I, I don't prefer these. Like, yes, it's good for like individual take with you somewhere. But since most of us don't travel anymore, I prefer just like the big tub of them and you can just kind of peel off as you want to use them but these are also a great option again this is $24 retail price next up is something from aromatherapy associates london which sounds like it's going to be expensive anything that says london afterwards usually has a prior price tag with it i don't know why this is the de-stress muscle gel focusing and soothing so this is what this looks like this retails for $40. That's what I mean, y'all. That's what I mean. So it's vegan, 100% natural blend sourced with care with rosemary, black pepper, lavender, ginger, and helps soothe and recover your skin. This feels cold to the touch, and I don't know why. It's way colder than this room is, but it's a de-stress muscle gel. I don't know what smells so far, but let's check out the next thing. This is from Aether Beauty. We had an eyeshadow palette for them previously. So this is an Aether Beauty Big Bang Mascara. The holographic letters made it kind of hard for me to read at first. So this retails for $28. I want to see how pretty the tube is. Just a white tube with the holographic letters on it, but this is very lightweight. But retails for $28. Seems a little bit expensive for a mascara, you guys. Like, I've bought some expensive mascaras before. You know, I've, I've got a lot of high-end mascaras and subscription boxes. But when it comes time to, like... 90% of the time when I need to buy a new mascara, my, my mascara to go to is $5 and it works just fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just did an unfiltered opinion video where there was a $45, $48 mascara and I'm just like, why? It just, I don't see how it could be that good. But anyways, <laughs> next up is from Ciate London. This is the Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glow Primer. I can, I'm having a hard time reading these really reflective boxes. So the Glow Primer from Ciate. So we had eye masks and a primer both in the base box and the premium box this month, which I'm okay with the primer, honestly. So this retails for $32. It just looks like this. It's just a dewy primer. Honestly, I feel like Ciate London used to be way more prevalent than it is now. I feel like the last thing I remember from them that came out that was like, a big thing was the Jessica Rabbit palette. You guys remember that? It was so good. Next up in here, this is the Keys Soul Care. 
Is this Leisha Keys brand? I don't know. Keys Soul Care Skin Transforming Cream Fragrance Free, which retails for $30. Sorry, I was reading the card. So this is the Keys Soul Care. And let's see what this is. Or like what the container looks like. Skin Transformation Cream. Is it like a moisturizer? What does the cream do? I know it transforms your skin, but like what category would that be in? This is very nice packaging. It's pretty, it's clean, it's heavy though. It's very, very heavy, but it looks nice. And lastly in here, this has to be the thing that just smells so fragrant, right? Cause there's nothing else in here besides paper. This has to be a thing that smells so fragrant. So this is the new company, NUE company, the pill, vitamin C, A, J, and A, H. I don't like that it's called the pill. I mean, a lot of us already take the pill and we don't need more of it. So this retails for $85. It is a all-in-one serum. Okay, the pill is a topical supplement, single dose for powerful activities where every ingredient has function for health of your skin. I had a hard time reading that, but this is this little thing that retails for $85. I mean, if it's good, it's good. I know skincare is something that is an investment, but like all in one serum sounds good because I'm lazy. One step and done sounds nice. But also I want to know what the all in one encompasses. Like, is it, what, 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 does, what does it do, you know? But anyways, I have no idea what in here was so freaking fragrant. It's this, this aromatherapy, this it smells. Like it's sealed still and everything, but it, it smells super florally. Like it's definitely this, but you know, if you're sensitive of fragrances, don't don't get don't buy that but anyways let's go over everything in the premium box so we have this all-in-one serum which retails for $85 we have this very fragrant de-stress muscle gel which is a little bit weird in the description box we have a dewy skin primer from Ciate London we have a keys serum moisturizer cream skin transformation cream we have grace and Stella everything is better in pink eye mask as well as a mascara from Aether Beauty so overall let me hold everything so we can see how much stuff we got. We got a lot of stuff in this one, but it's all except two things. Skincare or body care, because I guess the, this very fragrant gel that I'm holding close to my face counts as body care. So if we think of the mascara and the primer as the only makeup in here, I want more makeup, you guys. It's so much skincare. You can only have so much skincare. You only got one face, you know? I think you have one face anyways. Anyways, let's move on to Lux Box now. It's been a little bit since we had a Lux Box. So I'm optimistic. It's like the first one of the year. Da -da -da, da -da -da. The heaviest of all three boxes, we have the Lux Box now. And I will let you know the retail prices of everything. This card is enormous. <laughs> anyways, this is the inside. And I see something Natasha Denona right off the top, which feels fancy. So I'm gonna move that. Move this bubble wrap, and then here is what else we see. Well, yeah, it's, it looks okay. So let's get started with this first thing in here, which is the Cupid Eyeshadow Palette from Natasha Denona. We've had one little baby Natasha Denona palette before in the past. Um, so people really seem to enjoy it. So this is the bigger one. Beautiful, ooh, berry, lovely red packaging. Nudes. <laughs> <laughs> what berry tone? I don't know what I expected, honestly. So this is the Natasha Denona Cupid Eyeshadow Palette. Retails for $48. Cause she fancy. So here's the eyeshadow palette. I actually quite like the tones because these two shimmers are kind of like staple like lid shades. And these three crease colors make a lot of sense. This one's a little bit warm, you know, because it is like the red berry color. But, you know, these are two good crease colors for me. Like setting underneath the brow bone, good crease color, good lid color, like... This is kind of cute. So this is $48. It has a heavy, like, fancy feel to it. However, like, ColourPop makes palettes just like these. I don't understand luxury makeup, I guess, you know? I, I feel like a lot of people rag on me because I'm, like, saying that I'm not fancy all the time. But, like, imagine buying a palette for a hundred and something dollars and then not using it. Because there's a lot of palettes I'll buy and then I'll use, like, three or four times and then I'll just fall off because something new came out. I can't imagine spending hundreds of dollars on a palette and then not loving it, you know? Anyways, this is heavy and weird looking. There's a, there's a butt. YouTube don't demonetize me. It's a drawing of butt. It's art. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Frank Body. We had something from Frank Body in a previous box. Perky Sculpting Body Hydrator. 
I'm your dream cream with a double shot of coffee. Double shot of coffee. Reusable coffee cup in here. Okay, it's gonna be weird for me to open. So this retails for $19.95. It says it's deeply hydrating. It's cute coffee cup though. And it says butts with two T's. First coffee, which you might not be able to read on camera. But this is cute. It has a butt on the lid too. I mean, you could reuse this, but it has a butt on it. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a cream in here. It's a little weird, a body sculpting cream. I don't know if I believe in that. Like, I have cellulite. I've had cellulite even when I was like scrawny underweight, you know? I don't think a cream is gonna get rid of that. Like, is it gonna firm your skin? Maybe. Um, but I, I don't know. Let me know if you believe in those things down below because I've never really thought about them too much. Next up, we have something from Stay Calm. It's Give Them La La Skin. This is soothing, soothing sheet mask with aloe. There's four of them in here. This retails for $30 for four masks. That seems a little expensive. Let's go ahead and open this box up. There's something about this box that even though I just peeled it off, the plastic wrap wants to stick to this box and it's really gross. I don't know what the is, but the wrap they reused on the plastic is sticking all over the box. So it's just four sheet masks. I don't think that was exciting enough to make all that mess. But this is this. I don't really know if it's worth it though because this there's like literally plastic sticking all over this box. It's kind of gross. I don't know. Something about that. I just want the I want plastic to peel off super smooth. That one didn't. But let's move on to the next thing. So this is something from Dry Bar, which is fancy. When I worked at Ulta, people would love this brand. But I, you know. I got crap hair, so I never pay much attention. So this is a liquid glass miracle Sooth smoothing sealant. Lasts through three washes, three shampoos. So miracle smoothing serum sealant, liquid glass from Dry Bar. Well, I don't know what this liquid glass does. It explained it, but I don't understand. This retails for thirty-four dollars. In the description, it says, "Meet the ultimate frizz fighter." He activated technology, wraps an invisible shield around each hair strand to provide frizz resistance, leaves a super glossy, silky finish without weighing the hair down. Lasts through three washes, protects from heat up to 450 degrees. So that's cool. Um, my hair is all immaculately shiny because it's always a greasy mess. So I don't need this personally, but I would like to see more dry bar stuff in the future. I feel like that's a good brand to be put in subscription boxes that I would love to see more from. Next up, something says Clean AF. This is from Lawless. It's the Forget the Filler Limp Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in this shade Rosy Outlook. This retails for $25 for this plumping gloss. A little bit, little bit pricey here, but I did love their little mini Lawless palette before. So this is the color. It's just a very light pink gloss, nothing too bold, which is nice. I'm tired of seeing like really bold, like neon purple or like bright neon pink lipsticks in subscription boxes like a lot of us don't wear those colors next up is from REN clean skincare which you guys the word clean in skincare a lot of you guys are like oh it's clean skincare that literally doesn't mean anything <laughs> like that definition is the word is just a, a tag word it doesn't really mean anything there's no definition of it so this is the brightening eye brightening dark circle eye cream i have dark circles so here's the little Itty bitty little Bible cream. Has the Bible cream. This retails for $49. I've heard of this brand being pricey though, so I'm not super shocked. It says clean to the skin, clean to the planet. Please recycle on the little tabby thing here. And that's that $49. You know, another eye cream. We have eye products in all three of these boxes this month. Next up is from Complex Culture. We get a lot of stuff from Complex Culture in these boxes. This is the Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist. That's not a thing. We get a lot of blue light, pollution resistant, bl blue light filter, blue light uh, stopping shield stuff. That the blue light doesn't affect your skin. <laughs> I feel like we found out recently, just kind of a gimmick. Even brands like, I think, I think it was like, I think it was like Cover FX that had a blue light when we had a subscription box a while back. This is the product though. It looks really pretty and I love a mist. So even if it doesn't, like, it's not a daily blue light defense. I don't know what that even means. It's still a nice mist, probably. So this retails 
for $32, so pretty cute. This packaging is beautiful. And then lastly, a long time product company scripture boxes. This is the Juice Beauty thing. So this is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular anti recoil Retinol Overnight Serum. This is a product we've, we've had this brand of scripture boxes a lot. It's always on sale at Ulta. And then if you have the like 21 days of beauty, you'll always find something Juice Beauty in one of those days. It's like a really good sale for it. Cause I think for a while they were gonna take it out of Ulta and it just, it just stayed. So this is the Juice Beauty anti a retinol overnight serum. This retails for $72. That's what I'm saying, you guys. Super expensive, but you can get this on a deal anytime. Like in the description box, you're not paying that much for a retail price. And it's always on sale at Ulta if you want to check it out for a cheaper price. Because $72 is a lot. But anyways, let's go over everything we got in the big Lux box this month. We have this Juice Beauty Retinol Serum. We have this Blue Light Defense Mist from Complex Culture, which, you know, is not a thing. We have this Ren Skincare Eye Cream, which I think I'm kind of interested in because I wanted to try that brand. We have a Natasha Nona Eyeshadow Palette. Happy to have makeup, happy to have an eyeshadow palette. We also have some eye mists from La La Beauty. Give them La La. We have this Perky Butt Hydrator in a coffee cup. Is there coffee in this? Or is it just perk you up like coffee? but your butt i don't know <laughs> we have a clean af plumping lip gloss which is makeup and we also have this dry bar liquid glass for hair which i mean if we're gonna get hair products dry bar is a great brand i would like to see more but overall let's see everything <laughs> this one thing this one big box makes it hard to pick up so i'm gonna put that down but we got this plus that perky butt box so overall, the Lux is the winner for me this month because we got an eyeshadow palette. We got a nice brand of hair care. We also got another makeup product, a high-end luxury skincare brand that I wanted to try before. And then like we got a body product too, which I don't really care for, but it is a nice diversity. You know, some people are tired of just face skincare, like I said. Some people might be tired of makeup, you know, if that's a thing. <laughs> and then like this is like a different thing. But overall, let me know what you think down below. Let me know what your favorite box was. Mine was the Lux because we got an eyeshadow palette. However, I think the base box has some really strong things too, like the Rare Beauty Primer and such. So anyways, thank you guys so much. Let me know your favorite down below. I have a, do have an affiliate link with BoxyCharm. I forgot to mention the beginning of the video. I'll leave a link down below. No pressure if you don't use it. If you do, cool. But, you know. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.